Hi everyone, this is Prashad, your English Fluency Guide. Welcome to my channel, Prashadu Portnoy. Parts of speech. Today's topic is parts of speech. Dear friends, today in this video, we are going to learn grammar topic parts of speech. This is the basic topic for the beginners. So watch the video until the end and learn parts of speech. And before we go into topic, I just want to remind you to make sure you subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon so that you won't miss any video from this channel, which uploads every day one video without fail. Parts of speech are eight in number. They are one noun, second one pronoun, third one adjective, fourth one verb, fifth one adverb, sixth one preposition, seventh one conjunction, eighth one interjection. Noun. A noun is a name of a person, place, or thing. Simply put, all naming words are nouns. For example, James, India, country, town, bus, car, boy, girl, man, etc. Pronoun. A pronoun is a word which is used in the place of a noun or instead of a noun. Rajamouli is a great Indian director. He hasn't seen any flop in his career. Rajamouli is a noun. And in the second sentence, he hasn't seen he. He refers to Rajamouli. So, in the place of Rajamouli, we used he. So, he is pronoun. Shreya is a great singer. She is a good dancer too. Shreya is a noun. She is a pronoun. Okay. So, pronouns are he, she, it, they, you, we, you, etc. Now, let us see what adjective is. Adjective is a word which describes a noun or pronoun. It describes the quality or quantity of a noun. Simply put, adjectives are describing words. She is a good girl, is an excellent player, they are kind, he is living in a big house. So, adjectives are describing words. Here, girl is a noun. The word good is describing this noun. Okay? So, good is adjective is an excellent player player is a noun and excellent this word describing player so excellent is adjective they are kind kind describing them right he is living in a big house house is a noun big is adjective verb a word which describes an action or state of being is called a verb simply put action words are verbs i sing songs i sing i do something here sing is action word sing is verb Describes an action or state of being. For example, here in the second example, I am a teacher of English. I am. Here it is not describing the action but state of being. What am I? I am a teacher of English. Okay. He loves reading books. Here, loves is verb. They speak English. Speak is verb. I am teaching English. Here, teaching is main verb and I am is helping verb. Adverb. An adverb is a word which modifies the adjective, verb, or another adverb. So, adjective, no, adverb, sorry, adverb is a word which modifies, means which adds something meaning to the adjective or verb or another adverb. An adverb tells us how the thing is done. He is walking fast. Walking is verb and here fast. And the fast, this word says how he is walking. Okay. So, fast is adverb. He is running very fast. Here, fast is adverb and uh, it uh, very modifies the another adverb. So, very is also adverb. So, it's very beautiful. Beautiful is adjective. Very modifies this adjective. So, very is adverb. Preposition. A word which is used before the noun or pronoun and shows the relationship to the another word in the phrase or clause. The book is on the table. The cow is tied under the tree. He died of cancer. I am suffering from fever. Which is used before the noun or pronoun and shows the relationship to the another word. Okay. So, in, on, from, with, of, all these are prepositions. Conjunction. A conjunction is a word which joins two words or two phrases or two sentences. Two and two make four. And, and is conjunction. Kishore does not study well, but he is a great dancer. But here it joining the two sentences. So, but is conjunction. I don't want to attend the party because I am not feeling well. Because is conjunction. Interjection. An interjection is a word, phrase or sentence that expresses strong emotion or feeling. Hur hurrah. 
<coughs> H U R A H actually here. Yeah. It's a mistake. Hurrah, we won the game. Wow, what a beautiful car. Alas, he is dead. So, thank you all of you for watching this video. Please practice speaking regularly without fail with somebody or other. Your practice makes you perfect and you will become fluent in English in the long run. It takes some time. You need to believe in yourself. Great things take time. So, you should have patience and work hard if you want to become a fluent speaker. Thank you all of you for watching this video. Uh, thank you, your English fluency guide, Prashadu Patnur. See you in the next video. Until then, bye. Take care.